Hello Martin. It appears you're not very popular as manager of Cambridge United, so we've all agreed to have you say a few nice things about the United fans to boost your popularity. All the managers do it. Brabham did it all the time. In fact he never shut up about it. And let me remind you, it is going out live on BBC Radio Cambridge very shortly, so please, please, mind the language. We got a lot of complaints about your histon preview. Five, four, three. I'm not popular. I've worked fucking wonders considering the shit I've had to deal with. Those fans don't realize, if the fat bouncer had stayed we would be grappling for 23rd with Grays. Uh, Martin, please. Shut the fuck up MJ, I'm speaking. I suppose I have to trot out the same old shit about the fans, being the noisiest and best in the league? Bollocks. We had 20 farmers from Forest Green out sing us this season. I have been to funerals more lively than that place at times. As soon as Paul Carden misplaces a pass, which is every two fucking seconds, I have some tosser shouting at me to change it. Change what? We've just fucking kicked off, you tit. Martin. I haven't finished. All I hear is, Gary would do this, Gary would do that. Well Gary isn't fucking here. He fucked off at the first sight of trouble. And why is he more popular than me, because he had a stupid accent and comedy bald head? I don't get you lot. Maybe because he finished second in the league, Martin. He signed Andy fucking Parkinson. That should forego any right he has to ever manage again. I'm a proper manager, I've won stuff, like promotions on a budget. As for the fans, it's common knowledge in football, that most are thick as shit. Behind the goal all they do, is bang that fucking drum. No wonder Potter was dropping crosses, like they were hot potatoes, with that shite in his ear hole every two seconds. The less said about the habit, the better. Have you seen how depressed they look over there? It's like gazing into a refugee camp. I know four years of shit, set pieces from Courtney Pid would drive anyone mad, but they take the biscuit. Uh, I need to apologize to all of our... Apologize for what, Jono? The idiot fans? The worst ones are the people who sit behind me in the main stand. Well, the ones that aren't fucking dying. Two hours on football manager and they think they can do my job. The silly bastards. Sometimes I think it would be better to play our games behind closed doors with no fans, but if I wanted to do that I would go and manage Histon. You don't realize how lucky you are. If I left now, who would you get? Alan Lua? He'd stab his fucking G Rand mother to death just to get an interview. How about Steve Evans? You would be up to your nuts in fraud charges before you could say fat maniac. I don't know what to say Martin. I'm sorry Jono, it's not your fault, I'm very stressed. I had Jay Reason in here complaining that Danny Crow had pinched his trousers and used them as a parachute. It's okay Martin. I understand. Okay, when are we going out live to the fans? A few minutes? No, we have been out live all over the county since the start. I was trying to warn you and apologize. Oh. Bollocks.